Revelation 2135 From the 31st of October 1941 Divine Teachings in the Spiritual Realm The recognition of truth is rooted in the living connection with God. For keeping intimate contact with God will result in him instructing the human being himself. Divine instruction, however, can only be truthful, and divine instruction will never be demanded in vain by the human being. God will answer what he wants to know as soon as the human being turns to him inquiringly, and once he has established contact with God he will also ask for what he deems worth knowing for he knows about his ignorance and feels this as a shortcoming which he would like to remedy. But in God he recognizes the power which is full of wisdom, love and omnipotence. And now he trustingly turns to this power, presupposing love, which will not leave his request unheeded. He turns to God in order to be considered by his wisdom in the firm belief that this is possible. And God does not disappoint him. He does not let him ask in vain, for he wants the human being to become knowledgeable, he wants to impart truth to him and guide his thoughts into the right path. God truly instructs the earthly child in the right way but it has to come to him of its own accord and desire his wisdom, and the child which takes the path to God will not return to earth empty handed. During the reception of truth it is with him in the spiritual kingdom because it consciously unites with him. It now receives spiritual good in the realm of the spiritual. Be it mentally or in the form of the divine word. However, the truth will never be offered to the human being outside of this heartfelt bond, for even where the truth is passed on through the mouth of a human being it will only be recognized as truth by a likewise devout person who strives towards God, thus, he will also have to be in contact with God. And it is truly irrelevant what earthly knowledge the human being possesses. If he unites himself with God all earthly knowledge will be surpassed, for the divine teacher also gives the ability to recognize this as truth together with wisdom. His fatherly love places thoughts into the human being's heart such that they clearly come to his consciousness and stimulate the will to accept them, and the spiritual knowledge thus received is everlasting. It is received by the spirit which grasps all wisdom because it is part of God itself. As soon as the human being unites with God in prayer or through profound intimate reflection he detaches himself from earth and the divine spiritual spark in him leaves the earthly shell, now there are no earthly limited enlightenments for him. It grasps everything, even problems which seem insoluble to the human being are explained to it in an easily comprehensible way and the consequence of this is that its knowledge will tower over all earthly human wisdom. And now the spirit takes the gained wisdom back to earth, that is, it tries to convey what it has heard to the soul. And this will only be possible if the soul often seeks union with God, if it enters into intimate contact with God. Every spiritual mediation presupposes love for God and this love determines the human being to ask God and to appeal to him for an answer. And a loving and desiring heart will be fulfilled. God speaks to him and initiates him into his nature, his working, his love and his omnipotence. And the human being must become knowledgeable as soon as he is taught by God himself. Amen.